Bonjour! Hola, ni hao konnichiwa, annyeong mabuhay! Good day everybody! I am Angelique and I will be your visual tour guide for today. As we all know, we are facing a pandemic right now. But it will not stop us from exploring different places here in the Philippines, especially in the heart of the city, Manila. That's why we create this fun and new way of tour, and that is through your skin. Hassle-free and you will surely enjoy it. Before we start, here is our virtual brochure to heads up on what we will be touring for today. So sit back and relax. Our virtual tour will begin now. Our first stop is the National Museum of Anthropology. The National Museum of Anthropology stages the Philippine ethnographic and terrestrial and underwater archaeological collections narrating the story of Philippines from the past, as presented through artifacts as evidences of its pre-history. It is located in Agrippina Circle Rizal Park, Manila, adjacent to the National Museum of Fine Arts Building. Now, let's go inside! We are now in the Gallery of Bangsamoro Koran. As you can see, there are a lot of physical evidences or artifacts of our prehistory. One of these are the jars or bureau jars. The bureau jar collection contains intact and restored pottery bureau vessels and other funeral containers recovered from several archaeological sites throughout the Philippines, dating to the Battle Age around 2,800 to 1,000 years ago. Now let's go to the Lumad Gallery. The highlight of this exhibit is displayed of the ethnolinguistic map made by the National Museum. The preservation and elevation of their indigenous group's culture are emphasized by the exhibit items that express their beliefs and practices, weaves, crafts, clothing, embroidery, tradition, artistry, and the world's view to the Lumad. Next is the Palayok Gallery. Here it exhibits different jars, palayoks from biggest to smallest, and some of them have a very unique and distinguished signs. Here is the Negrito Gallery. Next is the Hibla Gallery. The last gallery here in National Museum of Anthropology is the Basketry Gallery. Here you can see different baskets from biggest to smallest and one of the biggest baskets here called Bakul in Pangasinan. It is used for storing grains like rice in particular. Before we proceed to our next destination, can any one of you guys tell some artifacts or evidences that you saw earlier? You can mention at least one. And don't worry, you will have a prize for that. Yes? What I am amazed about is the Gallery of Pedritos. There, it exhibits of different kind of weapons and traps that they use for hunting animals, like Howell and Sawin. That is right, and trivia guys, aside from what she mentioned, one of the famous and documented by anthropologist Robert Fox are the Eitam Mag-Anchi in Porak, Pampanga. It is recognized because of its five general parts of an arrow. For our next stop, it is the National Museum of Fine Arts. The National Museum of Fine Arts, formerly known as the National Art Gallery, it is an art museum in Manila, Philippines. It is located on Padre Burgos Avenue across the National Museum of Anthropology in the eastern side of Rizal Park. The museum, owned and operated by the National Museum of the Philippines, was founded in 1998 and houses a collection of paintings and sculpture by classical Filipino artists such as Juan Luna, Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, and Guillermo Tolentino. Upon entering, you will be welcomed by the famous painting of Juan Luna, the Spolari. On its right side, it is a sculpture of Juan Luna in the Vestio. You can also see here the famous painting of Felix Retrexion Hidalgo, the assassination of Governor Bonsamante, also known as La Iglesia El Estado, 
the church against the state. And here is the monument of Arthur Walsh Ferguson. Now, let's proceed to the old Senate Session Hall. The old session hall of the Senate of the Philippines displayed the national artist Carlos Botong Francisco's Filipino saga throughout the history and vast of Father Mariano Gomez, General Antonio Luna, George Vargas, and Jose P. Laurel by sculptures Anastasio Caido and Inocencio Galimet. Presided over the President Manuel Quezon, this chamber served as the principal forum for the promotion of Philippine independence, which led to the acceptance of Tidings and McDuffie Law in 1934. Now, let's go to Gallery 3. This is the Ramon and Milagros de Rosario Family Hall. It features 55 works of sacred art from the collection of Banco Central ng Pilipinas, and the works of National Fine Arts Collection. Now, this is Gallery 6, the Gallery of Paintings of Los Dos Pintores works of Juan Luna and Felix Hidalgo. This is Gallery 8, the Silvina and Juan C. Laya Hall. This is Gallery 12, or the Security Bank Hall. This is Gallery 15 or the Aguilar Cruz Hall. Let's proceed to Gallery 16 or the PGH Hall with PGH Botong Paintings and Film Life Alcantara Dili. For our last gallery here in National Museum of Fine Arts is the International Rice Research Institute Hall. National Museum of Natural History houses the wealth permanent galleries that exhibit the rich biological and geological diversity of the Philippines. It includes creatively created displays of botanical, zoological, and geological specimens that represents our unique natural history. Let's go inside! Upon entering, you will be welcomed by this gigantic wheel skeleton. As you can see, the structure and the ambience of the museum are very relaxing and has a very unique design of marbles. Now let's go inside to see the famous Tree of Life. Antonio's Toledo Commonwealth era design was retrofitted by architect Domine Galicia and Tina Periquet with an environmental theme. They choose the Tree of Life design to represent the richness of the Philippine natural resources. We can't deny the fact that this structural design is very unique and one of the current hottest tourist spots as of the moment here in National Museum. Now we are here at Lolong Exhibit. You can see up there the skeleton of Lolong. Did you guys know that it is considered to be the largest saltwater crocodile ever caught? At 6.17 meters, it was captured in a creek in Agusan del Sur in September 2011. It was named after Lolo, a veteran hunter who led the hunt. Now we are here to the Mega World Hall, where you can see different paintings of flowers by Tomas Bernardo. Now, we are here at Gallery 11, where it exhibits different protected areas of the Philippines as well as endangered plants, like the replica of parasitic plant. We are now on our last gallery, which is Gallery 12, the history of the naturalist in the Philippines. It, it exhibits here different scientific il illustrations as well as identifications, classification, and systematization that are discovered. Now that our virtual tour is about to end, we are hoping to see you physically to tour around more here in Manila in the near future. You can check our website and social media accounts, and if you wish to be with us on your future travels, do not hesitate to message us. And guys, we also have more virtual tours around here in the Philippines. 
all our social media and websites are mentioned on the brochure that we provided earlier. And we already sent it to your emails. I hope you guys enjoy and learn in this virtual tour again. I am Angelique, your virtual tour guide. Adios! Sayonara! Ciao! Paalam! I hope to see you in your next tour.